Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Musical Mornings with Rock Island Sound from the Westchester Children's Museum. My name is Andrew Knabel. I'm playing the violin, and this is our last musical morning of the summer, so I hope everyone has enjoyed all of the little mini lessons that we have done over the last few weeks. And you can tune in the rest of the week for other musical mornings about singing, guitar, trumpet, and many other things. So today what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about some different styles that you can play on the violin. So a lot of what we've been talking about in the last few weeks are what we call classical music. So written in a tradition from Europe and a lot of the music is has been at least 300, maybe even 400 years old. So what, we're, what the violin is, can do is also, we don't just play in classical music, we can play other styles of music. Now the violin can play any style of music, but there are some styles that have been uh, more prevalent than others. So, and don't forget in the comments if you can tell me how old you are, that'd be great. So today we're going to talk about two, primarily two different alternative styles for the violin. And the first one we're going to talk about is called jazz. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of a song for you. And it's by a violinist called Stefan Grappelli. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about him. Stefan Grappelli was from France. And he is considered the grandfather of jazz violinists. So he was the first to really take the violin as a solo instrument in jazz. Because if you think of jazz, you usually think of saxophones and trumpets and drums and guitars and other instruments, but the violin really hadn't been thought of a jazz instrument. And Stefan Grappelli, he took a little bit of his, uh, he took his violin technique and made it into jazz. So I'm going to play a little bit and I'm going to talk about what this actually is. transcription. Now transcription is where you uh, figure out what the notes and the rhythms are and you write it down just by using your ear. This is a transcription of something called an improvisation. So improvisation is where you make up your own uh, music based upon a theme or a, a melody or even just a rhythm. So one of the key things about jazz is that it uses a lot, it uses improvisation a lot. So you can have a melody. You know, let's just take, let's just do a little bit of improvisation in jazz. Now, so let's take a familiar melody like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So what might, what somebody might do is take that and just improvise a. Maybe recognize a little bit of it, but it's kind of make it their own. But that's what it's kind of based on. It's just making making things up and being adventurous with it. And the great thing about improvisation is that there's nothing right or wrong about it. It's just what you create, which is one of the things that I like about jazz. It's kind of spontaneous and really you can just go with it. 
Now, one of the other things about jazz that makes it kind of distinct from other types of music is its rhythm. So, I'm going to play a little bit again from the Stefan Grappelli piece, and I'm going to play I'm going to play it two different ways. first way. Now, here's the second way. Now, the second way, notice that the rhythm was slightly different. So one of the things about jazz is the rhythms are very very vibrant, very unique. And the thing that I did was called swinging. And so swinging is where we have, we sometimes we have things called eighth notes, where we have fast, some faster notes. So I just played a little D minor scale. So those were just straight eighth notes. Now swing, you kind of, you kind of make one of them longer and one of them shorter. And that, that, creates kind of like a little, like a swing. Ya, da, di, da, 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 da. Know, like that. Okay. Great. And so the thing about, one other thing about jazz is that it was a blend. So it originated in New Orleans in Louisiana. And it was originated by African American and black musicians. And it blended African and European styles together. So they so they took the, the classical elements of harmony and melody from the European tradition and melded it with the rhythm of African music, Afro-Cuban music, and other other you know African American spirituals, and they kind of created this hybrid, and that's where jazz originated from. Right. Let's talk about one other jazz violinist. Her name is Regina Carter. And I'll t tell a little bit about her. She's, she was born in Detroit in Michigan, in the United States. And she started off as a classical violinist when she was studying growing up, but she s switched to jazz. Cause it's, jazz spoke to her and it moved her in a way that's how she wanted to create her music. So, and now she's probably the most, I'd say the most well-known jazz violinist today right now. So I'm gonna play a little bit of excerpt from one of her Composition. She wrote this. It's called Shades of Grey, and it's a little it's slow. It's a little slower jazz tune. So. <laughs> Another example of jazz. So jazz isn't all doesn't always fast and rhythmic. It can also have a little meditative, slow quality to it. But it's very lot. Another thing about jazz is there's a room for lots of ornamentation and different effects. So some of the effects I've been doing sliding. So sliding with my hand, with my finger, hand, and also doing a little bit of harmonics. So a harmonic is when you lightly touch the string at a certain point and it creates kind of like a ghost tone. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little bit about jazz. The other style I want to talk a little bit about is called fiddling. Now, you've probably heard about the violin and how some people call it a fiddle. Now, the difference between a violin and a fiddle, 
Well, physically, there is no difference. It's the same instrument. Sometimes we just call our violins fiddles for nicknames. But in terms of the style, I guess the best definition for fiddling is it's folk music that really takes on dancing. And it has a lot of dancing. And there are many different styles of fiddling in both Europe and in North America, not just the United States, but also in Canada. So what I'm going to do, and I do run a fiddle camp, so if you're interested, you can always talk. About, uh, you can always go on to RockIslandSound.com and or call 914-967-0800 and learn about fiddle camp. And if you like some of the things that you hear today, and you're interested, then you can sign up. And I also teach lessons as well, so keep that in mind if you're interested in taking violin or viola lessons. So we're going to talk about some of the different styles of fiddling. So now some in Atlantic Canada. So if you imagine the map, Northeast Canada, where Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, uh, Prince Edward Island is, they have a tradition of fiddling. And I'm going to play a song. Called, it's called "Ease the, Ease the Bee," and it's really it's it's at the bay, and it's the Newfoundland accent that is being uh, portrayed here. And it's a seafaring song, and it's also a fiddling jig. And we'll talk more about jigs later when we talk about Irish fiddling in a sec. So I'm going to play two different ways. So I'm going to play the main melody. And now, what, what happens in fiddling, so this will be played over and over, and people will make, again, improvisation. So, a lot of folk music uses improvisation, just like jazz. And then you can have a little background music. So you can have a little bit of background music, background harmony as well. So a jig is a very lively dance, and again, we'll talk about that. Now, there's also uh, just simple melodies that you can do. One is called Violin Cabbage Down. It's a song that originated in the South, in the Southern United States, and it was originally a song that was sung by enslaved people working the fields, and they wanted to just all they just all they talk about is the only tune that they ever learned was Violin Cabbage Down while they were working the fields. Um, when they were enslaved, unfortunately. So here's the song. And so you can take that and make different different variations on that. Or you can even add just the double stop song. Okay, so just talking about a little bit, a little bit more uh, fiddling. Yeah, so here's a, here's an Irish jig. So now we were doing we were doing some fiddling in North America. Now we're doing some in Europe. So Irish fiddling, we use that's what we associate the jig and. You know, when you hear songs on St. Patrick's Day, or you know, just even if you're you're just listening to uh, Irish tunes. So this one's called Swallowtail Jig. And then what some people can do is add a little bit more double rhythm. Tunes are, of course, faster than rhythmic. Some are just a little bit more tuneful, more airy. And this one's called Ashgrove, and it represents the folk tradition of Wales. Wales is a is a little country that's part of the United Kingdom. So England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland all make up the United Kingdom. 
tune to end before we say goodbye, and this comes from Scotland, The Flowers of Edinburgh. It's an old Scottish tune that, that this is also, like our classical music, can, is over 300 years old, can be traced back to at least 1750. In one early collection of fiddles tune, the flowers were said to have been the judges and lawyers of the town. Hmm, interesting. Now, there's, you're going to hear a, diff, a rhythm, it's called the Scottish Snap. So, so be careful about when, so be, uh, be careful when you're listening for that rhythm. And now we're going to end with this tune. different styles that the violin can play, such as jazz or fiddle music. There are many other styles that the violin can play, bluegrass, uh, country music. Uh, now in, in rock and roll, the violin is becoming a little bit more prominent. So I encourage you to go and check it out and search for things, search for things that interest you and learn about them. So. Thank you for joining. Again, if you're interested in taking lessons with me on violin or viola, or are interested in any of the summer camps I do for beginning violin through Ryrex Center, or fiddle camp through Rock Island Sound, you can go on rockislandsound.com or call 914-967-0800. And I'm really happy I got to spend these last six weeks with you every Monday morning learning about the violin here at Westchester Children's Museum. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow you can tune in at 9.30 for Rachel's class about singing. And I will hopefully see a lot, see some of you soon, either, either for lessons or for camps. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>